Welcome back YouTube Pipe Smokers, Mutton Chop Piper here. Today's video we're going to be talking about nicotine. But before we get to that, I'd like to do a little housekeeping. As you can see, I'm wearing a t-shirt. And usually I'll wear a collar shirt out of respect for you guys. And I try to look the best I can on these videos. But the t-shirt has, um, has significance as to what my wife and I did yesterday. So let me stand up and show it to you. As you can see, the shirt says River Rat Beer Cheese. All right, so my wife and I yesterday went to Winchester, Kentucky to the Beer Cheese Festival. So what is beer cheese? Beer cheese is um, cheddar cheese, spices, and beer, which gives it a unique taste. Um, now, I think Kentucky is where it was born. Um, and there's not a lot of people that have heard of beer cheese. Um, it's a, kind of an oddity to Kentucky, like uh, Mountain Dulcimers. Not a lot of people have heard of Mountain Dulcimers. But at the Beer Cheese Festival, about 12 companies bring their beer cheese and there's a competition. So people go and they test taste, taste test each variety of beer cheese. And then they've got a little ticket that they put in a box on their favorite beer cheese. And then whoever's their favorite wins the competition. Uh, now River Rat is one of the companies that was competing yesterday. Another company uh, that was competing is goes by the name of Halls. Now, I remember back in the 70s when my parents would take me and my sister down to a restaurant called Halls on the River. It was a restaurant that sit on the Kentucky River and they made the best beer cheese that you can imagine. I mean, back then, we just went down there to eat so we could have the beer cheese. It was so good. Um, and now they, they have taken the recipe and they, had, they, they sell it uh, online and they sell it in stores here in Kentucky. If you'd like to get some, then uh, you can go on any search engine and just put in Hall's Beer Cheese um, and you'll see uh, what I'm talking about. Uh, I'm not sure if they will ship it overseas uh, to foreign countries, uh, but I'm pretty sure you shouldn't have a problem if you're here in the United States. Um, also, if you'd like to make your own beer cheese, then uh, YouTube has several videos on how you can make your own. So, yeah, just a suggestion, you might want to give it a try and see if you like it. Uh, me and my wife absolutely love it. All right, let's talk about today's video, which is going to be about nicotine. Now, nicotine is uh, naturally occurring in all tobaccos. Um, the thing about pipe tobacco and cigar tobacco is that nicotine will more likely make you sick then it will get you addicted because there's nothing in pipe tobacco or cigars, no additives that are used to increase the addiction portion of nicotine. Cigarettes, on the other hand, are a different animal. Uh, cigarette companies uh, infuse cigarettes with several different additives and one of those is to uh, ramp up the addiction portion of nicotine. So that's why when you smoke a cigarette, if you're addicted to cigarettes, you can't go very long without smoking another one because uh, your brain is telling you, is, is, is telling you, hey, you need, you need to uh, stop this craving and give me more nicotine. I don't think I have ever heard of anyone, uh, and this is including myself, who has ever become addicted to pipe tobacco or cigars, the nicotine in pipe tobacco or cigars. So how does nicotine affect you when you're smoking a pipe? Now for you new pipe smokers or you potential pipe smokers, this is something that you need to be aware of. Don't be scared of it because if it happens, then you'll know to avoid it next time, but be aware that it could happen and be aware when it does happen. So how does, 
how does nicotine affect you when you're smoking a pipe? Well, first let's go through the blends, I'm sorry, blend components that, that could affect you uh, nicotine-wise. Uh, the, the blend components with the highest nicotine content are Burley, Kentucky, and Perique. The lowest nicotine content is Virginia, Maryland, and Oriental. Now, um, Perique is a condiment. Um, it is a condiment component. So it depends on the amount of Perique that's in a blend as to whether it will affect you uh, getting nicotine sickness. Um, that's why I, I personally like Virginia Orientals. Um, also, it depends on how much Perique is in a vapor. Virginia Perique blend, uh, if, it, if it's heavily laden with Perique, it may make you sick. So, what are the symptoms of uh, nicotine sickness? Well, for me, this is how it affects me. It affects people differently, but I think the symptoms that I get, pretty much everybody gets. The first thing it does is I kind of start to feel lightheaded. Kind of feel like, you know, wow, it's feel lightheaded. Then I get dizzy. I mean, sort of like the room spinning dizzy. And then I feel really nauseous. So, how do you prevent this from happening or getting out of control? So you're smoking along, you know, and you're saying, man, I love this blend. This stuff is good. Next thing you know, you start to kind of feel lightheaded. You're like, hmm, that's kind of weird. As soon as you feel that lightheadedness, put the pipe down and stop. Because there's more to come. You have, sm you have smoked your pipe and the nicotine has gotten into your bloodstream but it hasn't gotten to a level where it's affected you, your, your brain yet. So as it continues to build, uh, as you continue to smoke, it's continuing to build. So even after you s first feel that lightheadedness and you put it down, what you smoked in the last two or three puffs is gonna continue to feed that nicotine into your system. So if, you, if you're smoking along and you say, hmm, that's kinda weird, I feel lightheaded, ah, oh well. I'll just keep smoking. It's going to continue to build and continue to build to the point to where you either may find yourself in the restroom or the bathroom throwing up or or you'll be kind of incapacitated and won't be able to do anything because you're trying not to throw up. Uh, so my advice is the second you feel that lightheadedness, that swimmy feel in your head, put your pipe down. Now, what can you do to prevent getting nicotine sickness. Well, uh, the best thing to do is to eat, eat, eat something, I would, I would say not something light, but like I would smoke a blend that's got a lot that's heavy in nicotine and you know it's heavy in nicotine after a good dinner or a nice meal where your stomach is full. Um, there is a blend out there called Nightcap and it has been, uh, it's notorious for being a high nicotine content blend. Um, that's why it's called NICAP because uh, Dunhill, I think, said, you know, this blend maybe ought to be smoked after, some, after dinner, after somebody has got a full stomach. Um, so that's the best way to prevent nicotine sickness. Now, I'm, say, I'm not saying that you may get it anyway, but it will probably minimize the amount that you get. Okay, so you smoke your pipe, you're in the throes of nicotine sickness. Oh my God, I, my head is swimming, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw up, what do I do? Okay, uh, some remedies that will, <clears throat> that will lessen, it will not cure it, it will lessen the effect, is eating a couple of pieces of chocolate or a whole chocolate bar. Um, or I have also heard putting a spoonful of sugar under your tongue and letting it kind of dissolve and get into your bloodstream. Um, 
I'm no doctor and I'm not quite sure if this is correct or not. So if any of our uh, Pipe Club members know for sure <clears throat> how this works, please leave a comment. But uh, I, I think I heard or I remember someone saying that once you, once you get sugar into your bloodstream, it, uh, it starts to speed up uh, your, uh, your blood flow and it gets it to your kidneys quicker uh, to filter out uh, the nicotine. Now, I could be wrong. Like I said, I'm no doctor, so, but that's, I've heard that saying before. Also, I don't know if you remember, but they used to make these things called pixie sticks. They're like a, like a small rod and inside's filled with, um, with, you know, flavored sugar like grape or strawberry or lemon. Um, I don't even know if they still sell them, but if you take one of those and put it under your tongue, um, that could also help lessen the effect of nicotine sickness. But the ultimate, the ultimate way to get rid of nicotine sickness is time. You're just going to have to put your pipe away, get in an easy chair, lay back, take a nap if you have to, but uh, in a couple of hours it should subside. Uh, but please, for you new new pipe smokers and and potential pipe smokers, don't be scared of that, because if you if you stick to you know Virginia Orientals, Virgin, you know straight Virginias, straight Orientals, or the combination of the two, or uh, somehow you can get the component, um, how much of each component is in the blend, um, then you can pretty much kind of stay away from those heavy. Um, uh, heavy nicotine blends uh, but just be aware that it, it might happen to you uh, another thing that I would suggest is that while you're smoking your pipe uh, if you do know it's a heavy nicotine um, blend try not to retrohale because there's some olfactory sensors in your nose that will quicken the amount of uh, nicotine that gets into your bloodstream so as so for me at least, if I know it's heavily nicotine laden, then I will not absolutely will not retrohale. Uh, I just smoke slowly and take small puffs. Um, well, that's it for this video. Uh, I hope you liked it. I hope you learned something. Until my next video, I want to wish you and your family happy piping.